starting this off with some still shots to detail the project a little bit. Um, here you can see the graphical interface on, um, not inside the vehicle. It was kind of tough to get um, great shots in the vehicle with the glare on the screen. So here is the home page of the PyLogger. Uh, we're going to jump into the code reader. Unfortunately, I did not have any codes to display, um, but here's the virtual dash displaying some various information. These numbers are just added in for, for visual purposes. There will be a physical demonstration uh, in later part of this video. Top right, you can see logging is active. What that means is all of this information is going to be logged to a CSV file. Uh, you can turn that on and off, and that will just append um, all of that information to that CSV file. Unfortunately, I did not have any check engine codes. Uh, at the time, I did in previous tests, and I will put a video in of how they come out formatted. Change how it's displayed a little bit, but it works. Code reading feature of the Python OBD library returns the codes in a list. Uh, so the, the current program displays those codes one by one, just iterating through that list. All right, yep. this is the uh, Bluetooth ELM327 adapter. That's going to go into the OBD2 port down here. Red light will indicate power to that. So we're using a uh, 300 watt power inverter to the 12 volt port in the vehicle. All right, we have our seven inch touch screen uh, hooked up to our Raspberry Pi 4. First bind the MAC address of the ELM327 adapter that's plugged into the OBD2 port. We're going to navigate to the folder and we're going to run the Python OBD application. As you can see, this initial debug output is kept in to see engine connection, make sure everything is okay. Um, once it is connected, debugger is turned off. That is a feature within the Python OBD library. I have a code reader, so there's no OBD2 codes at this point uh, in my car. Uh, otherwise, they would um, list out right here. So we go home and we have our virtual dash, which is our virtual dashboard um, with various engine information, engine load, uh, MAF, which is grams per second air intake. Uh, we have intake temperature, O2 trim, trim of fuel based on the O2 readings, coolant temperature, and timing advance as well as RPM, also represented by our tachometer here. Uh, that will turn red above 3500 RPM to indicate shift. Air fuel ratio, uh, fuel rail pressure on direct injection is why those numbers are so high. And from here we can data log. So all this information can be logged to a CSV file with that button there, uh, which can be turned off. And Subsequent clicks of that data log once the application is open will result in um, just appending values. That CSV file will be named data log followed by the date. And that is the PyLogger written in PyGame um, using the Python OBD2 library. I'm going to do a pull and uh, you should see fuel pressure spike. That's going to wrap up my Raspberry Pi project for CS121. Thank you, Professor Eddie, for letting us pick a project of our own choosing. I had a lot of fun with this one. Big shout out to Tinkernut for giving me the original inspiration for this project. Um, thank you, Brendan Whitfield, for writing Python OBD and all the other contributors over the years. Tech with Tim, all the Pi game help, coding with Russ, using a modified version of his button class um, in this. Uh, all this code will be up on GitHub if anybody wants to use this program, modify it. I'll be making another video in the future uh, detailing how to get it set up and how to get around some of the, the issues that you might run into that I ran into. That will be uh, the next video in the future. Until then, uh, thanks for watching.